WBZ's Jordan Jaglins are live on the South Shore in Marshfield tonight. Jordan, the coastline just getting a beating today. That's right, guys. And right now, we're actually starting to see what's mostly been rain today start to turn over to snow. It's getting a little bit harder and it's coming down fast. Not to mention, right now is actually high tide. So the waves have been fierce here in Marshfield all day long, but now they're really at those heights where they're starting to come over the seawall ever so slightly as those waves crash here along the coast. Fortunately, we're not seeing this roadway completely flood out, which it could. Uh, right now, it's still looking good, but needless to say, the locals in this area are choosing to stay inside. The wind and waves battering the south coast, causing flood warnings in Marshfield. Well, I live in Plymouth, so I don't get to see the ocean that often, not unless I drive there. So here we are having lunch and visiting. The Fairview Inn has seen its fair share of nor'easters in its day. Once you're here, you might be stuck here for a while. With one road taking you in and out of Brant Rock, manager of the inn, Faith Dernier, says they told half their staff to stay home amid the nor'easter. We just get concerned about our staff, so, you know, we kind of went down to a skeleton crew just so it's safe for everybody. And With winds from 25 to 45 miles per hour, Dernier says it was the right decision. It comes over in insane and we'll go right across the street and everything and floods the entire center. With most choosing to witness the weather from afar. It's fun to stand in my window and watch it when it comes over the um, wall. As you can see, though, quite the dramatic scene here on the coast in Marshfield. The waves looking scary, but beautiful. Again, this is high tide, so it will get a little bit better. We are keeping a close eye on the roadways here, but just take it slow if your travels take you on some of these roads in Marshfield. Some of those lower spots are certainly look, looking more wet than some of the ones that are higher. In terms of power outages, there are a few isolated power outages, but fortunately in this area, we don't have that heavy snow falling on the power lines like in other spots across the state so mainly just wet windy and again those high tides the major concern here live in marshfield jordan jagalinzer wbz news